Alright boys, these are the two working codes at the moment. First one gives you 2,500 belly. Here it is, type it in, redeem it while you can. Second code gives you 1,000 belly. Redeem these two codes and you'll have 3,500 belly. Hey, what is up guys, it's your boy the summer to one back with another video guys. Before we get right into the video, I just wanted to make an announcement. Your boys fan base discord server is finally up. A lot of you have been waiting for this, a lot of the OG fans. And it's finally here. I used one of my old servers that I made for a One Piece game. It was um, a pirate Discord server that I made a while ago for Real Peace, I believe. Yeah. But yeah, me and my good friend, we edited that Discord server a bit. And we, I just decided to use it as my fan base Discord server. Keep in mind, we haven't really finished working on it. So there's still a lot of stuff that we need to work on. Like, we still need to update the picture for the Discord server. And some channels we need to update some channels and also add some channels so yeah just keep in mind that the discord server is not fully done we're not done working on it but yeah if you guys want to join my fan base discord server just click the first link in the description to join it but other than that let's get right into the video all right so on today's video i'm going to be teaching you guys the fastest way to level up on this game the fastest way to hit max rank and to be honest it's just grinding you know what i mean i'm just i'm just gonna show you a bit of tricks but at the end of the day all you have to do is grind and i promise if you use this method that i'm about to show you you can get to max level within a couple hours not a day couple hours i grinded for about two hours not even two hours almost two hours and i'm already level 83 max level is 100 almost half max level boys but yeah if i continue to grind for a couple more hours i believe i, I could have hit max level so let's say you're a new player right like your first time playing this game you'll spawn over there and once you spawn over there just you know go up the stairs and go to this guy right here get the level one quest from him and then from there just defeat these uh, marines every time you defeat six marines and you receive your 200 xp and belly Go back to this guy and get the quest again and again every time you complete the quest come back to this guy and get it so you could get 200 xp and 250 belly because if you continue to kill the marines without having the quest you won't really you know get these rewards so make sure you get the quest every time you kill the marines don't forget because you'll end up wasting your time killing them if you don't have a quest you know what i mean you won't get as much xp and belly as you would get if you had the quest all right so let's say you don't have a double fruit like me i highly suggest you focus on making your melee stats the strongest the highest you could say but if you're lucky enough to have a double fruit with long range attacks then i highly highly suggest you put most of your points in your double fruits and i'll tell you why so like let's say i had a double fruit right with two long with two long range moves i would get the quest and just use the long range moves to attack the the mobs that i need to take out so let's say i need to take out the marines i would just use two of my long range moves and it would automatically kill them that's if you have enough points to you know automatically one shot these marines and that would be you know that would make you op and that will help you a lot in the future but from there like for noobs of course you won't have enough points to one shot them so just you know just kill them kill them over and over and get your points up until you get to the point where you could just one shot them with your what's it called one shot them or two shot them with your double foot and if you get to that point just keep getting the quest and two shotting them and that's like a bit easier for you instead of going all the way to them so yeah the double fruits is a bit easier to level up for people who aren't lucky enough like me to have the double fruit just get the quest jump and go to the mobs that you need to take out and take them out for noobs you won't have this jumping feature dash i think you just get it for free like you don't have to earn it you have it once you join the game um but the second one the jumping feature you at least need 15 melee oh yeah of course if you have a double fruit don't focus on adding all your points into the double fruit section i highly suggest you know you spread your points around at certain times but mostly focus on the double fruit section if you have a double fruit and if you don't have a double fruit like me focus on the melee section but at the same time focus on these sections as well so you could unlock skills for example bruh 
for example for combat you'll need 15 melee to have this jumping feature not only that you'll need 60 melee to have um, buzo hockey which i believe makes you really strong and it's going to be really helpful um and you'll also need 50 defense to unlock ken hockey so yeah try you know to spread your points around but if you have a double food like i said make sure you put most of your points in the double food so by the time you make it to the boss quests you could just get the quest two shot him or one shot him and get the quest again instead of going all the way to the boss and fighting him well you'll need to do that if you don't have a double fruit and that's what i did to level up but yeah if you guys do have a double fruit do that boys it'll be way easier for you guys to level up so yeah once you know you hit level 10 you could stop grinding these marines and you could go get this quest right here This quest is for level 10 players, so just talk to this guy, and he'll give you a quest to defeat 7 pirates. Defeat 7 pirates, you know you know the drill. Defeat them, every time you level up, up your stats. If you're mainly focusing on devil fruit, put most of your points in the devil fruit. If you're mainly focusing on melee, put most of your points in melee. Um, if you don't have a devil fruit, it's kind of the only advantage of not having a double fruit is that you could put most of your points in melee and unlock hockey way faster but at the same time that's just only one hockey you know what i mean you'll end up needing to add more points to your defense in order to unlock another hockey which is going to be really useful in the future and i'll tell you how um so once you do this quest to the point where you hit level 20 you could go to this um nbc right here and get the level 20 quest this quest is my favorite to be honest i farmed this guy until i was like level 40 by accident because at the time i didn't know there was another boss that you could defeat on this island for level 30 players which i highly suggest you guys go to once you hit level 30 but these two bosses right here easiest way to level up to be honest they give so much xp and like i said if you put most of your points in melee or devil fruit by the time you reach these bosses, you could two-shot them with the double fruit, or you could just go to them, you feel me? If you have a lot of points in melee, and just fight them real quick. Click J to activate your hockey, and like I said, you'll need 60 points in order for you to be able to activate hockey. Um, this hockey right here. Oops. Um, Buso hockey, I think that's how you pronounce it. But yeah, this Buso hockey just makes you way stronger, and you know, with Buso hockey... And a lot of points in your melee, you could defeat the bosses mad quickly. And the only disadvantage of, you know, using melee is that you'll have to go back all the way to the NBC over and over to get the quest. By the time you hit level 30, go to this NBC right here. Alright, so yeah, like I said, once you hit level 30, go to this NBC right here. And he'll give you a quest to defeat this boss, which gives you 500 more XP and a bit more belly. I don't know how much more belly exactly, but yeah. And also, once you hit 50 defense, you'll get this hockey, which is super, super useful if you don't have enough defense. And if you aren't strong enough to defeat the boss by the time he could defeat you. So the hockey basically dodges all the attacks from your enemy. So like I said, if you don't have a lot of defense... And if you don't have a lot of points in melee to the point where you could defeat the boss before he kills you, the hockey that you get from having 50 defense is really, really helpful, which is called um, Ken Hockey. Ken Hockey, yeah. So, like, let's say I'm about to die and I want to kill the boss before he kills me. I could just simply click K, which activates the Ken Hockey. And every, every attack he throws at me doesn't land on me. The time I'm attacking him while I have Ken Hockey activated... He isn't hurting me, and I'm also healing up. So, Ken Hockey is pretty OP for low levels, like I said. And also, you know, even if you're really OP, you'll still be, you'll still use this, you know, Ken Hockey um, skill once in a while. So, let's say I didn't have this much defense. Let's say I had 500 health, and my melee wasn't strong enough to kill the boss before he kills me. I could just activate the Ken Hockey, and every attack he throws at me doesn't land. I easily dodge it. And the whole time I'm fighting him and killing him, I'm regening health. So it's pretty OP. By the time you kill him and complete the quest, you'll have, you know, 
20 15 to 20 percent of your health back depending on how fast you could kill the boss if it takes you a while to kill a boss then you could get up to like 30 percent of your health back i don't really know exactly the exact amount of health you'll get back before you kill the boss but you know if you really want to find out you could do the math yourself yeah so once you hit level 75 i suggest you go to the island over there it has two quests a quest for level 50s and a quest for level 75s i highly suggest you farm that boss that i just left into your level 50 because i feel like that level 50 quest over there is not worth it you'll have to kill like a few mobs in order to complete it and it only gives you 1000 extra xp instead of doing that quest that i just left over and over all you have to do is simply kill a boss once you kill a boss you get 2500 xp which is which is pretty good to be honest and it, it you'll, you'll kill the boss way faster than you kill all the mobs you need so like let me explain it a bit better so let's say i hit level 50 right and then i end up planning to come over here to this island and farm this quest right here it would be it would be a kind of dumb idea to be honest because you'll need to kill five bug buggy pirates in order to gain the reward which is 3500 xp 1000 extra xp from the previous quest i showed you and 800 belly which offers you 50 more belly i believe which is th there's no big difference so what i'm just trying to say is that this quest is just going to take you longer and the mobs have the same strength as the boss i believe so why not continue why not continue you know farming that boss over there which is way easier you know you can kill the boss way faster and get the xp way faster instead of coming over here when you're level 50 and you know taking a while to complete this quest over and over again and it's just, and it's just gonna take you a while to level up you know what i mean so by the time look it just took me like two to, let's just say two minutes to kill these two mobs right here in two minutes i could have killed the boss got the quest again and i could have been fighting the boss to the point where i could have killed him again two times and i could have gained 4000 xp that easy not 4000 5000 xp instead of you know farming five of them and gaining 3500 xp i could just be farming the boss and killing him easily and getting 2500 xp in less than a minute so that's what i'm trying to tell you guys stick to the island until you reach level 75 once you make it to level 75 that's when i highly suggest you come to this island once you level um, 75, just do the same thing. Farm this boss. And like I said, if you were a Devil Fruit user and you had a long range attack moves, it would have been way easier for you. You could have just used the moves from this point to kill the boss and then got the quest again. And again, instead of jumping and dashing all the way to the boss and then fighting him, killing him, going back to the NBC and getting the quest over and over. It gets annoying, but honestly, it isn't that, you know, big of a deal. It's not that bad. It doesn't take a while to go back to the NBC and get the quest and come back to the boss. But again, if you had a double fruit, it would have been way easier for you to kill the boss and get the quest. You know, less work basically. But yeah, you get the gist, boys. Let me just show you how easy it is for me to farm this boss right here. I just recently made it to level 75. I grinded for about 5 minutes. Not 5 minutes, I'm bugging. Like 6 minutes you could say, and now I'm level 85. Now look, look how easy it is for me to kill this boss. With, um, what's it called? The hockeys I have. The hockeys are really helpful, so I highly suggest you try to unlock the hockey skills before you make it to this island. You know, see, every, every time he tries to attack me when I have this hockey activated, the defense hockey, None of his moves land on me, which is pretty OP. This hockey is pretty OP. But yeah, you get the you get the gist of the story. I'm already level 86. That simple, boys. But yeah, that's the fastest way to level up, I guess. I hope hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I might make a part two on how to level up fast once I make it to max level. But for now, just you know, just get to my level. This video should help you get to level 100 at least. Um. But yeah, see if you guys really found this video really helpful and enjoyed it. Make sure you guys smash that like button. Let me know in the comment section below. So I could start working on the part 2 and release part 2 um, as soon as possible. But yeah, thank you so much guys for stopping by and watching my video and showing support. I really appreciate it. Make sure you guys join the fan Discord server. First link in the description. 
But other than that, it's been your boy, the Solomon 21. Peace out. Uber.